So for those reasons, I'm gonna be returning the A6 Gel Keanu 29. Hi guys, Chris here, and you're watching Here We Are Running, and today we're gonna to do a shoe review of the latest version of the ASICS Gel Keanu. Now, if you're a regular on the channel, you will know that I've bought and I've run in the Keanu Stability Running Shoe for now, ooh, last four or five years. It's always a shoe that's found its way into my rotation, and it's a very popular stability running shoe. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at all the features on the ASICS Keanu 29, and I'm also going to tell you about what I actually think of this version of the shoe. And uh, yeah, spoiler alert, it's not good. Let's start by taking a look at the midsole of the shoe. You have got what they're calling now light trust. Now that's the, the area of the shoe on the medial side where it's stopping the foot from rolling in too much when you land on it. Uh, as well as that, you've got Flight Foam Blast Plus midsole foam that you can see, uh, and that's a bouncy, comfortable midsole foam. And because it's an A6 gel Keanu, you've got some gel in there for shock absorption. You can see it here at the rear of the shoe. Moving on to the upper, you've got a new engineered mesh upper on this shoe. A little bit of ventilation here at the forefoot area of the shoe. Um, a nice sort of solid upper material, good quality by the looks of it. It's got a very sort of plush area around the ankle area um, to give some comfort there, as well as quite a plush tongue on here. Now, stability shoes often have a really solid heel counter to keep your foot locked in, and this is, this is no different. It has got a very solid internal heel counter there, as well as what they call the IGS, which is, stands for um, Impact Guidance System. It kind of runs around the edge of the heel area on the exterior side. Moving on to the outer, and as you can see there, plenty of AHAR Plus rubber. That stands for ASICS High Abrasion Rubber. And you can see areas of exposed midsole foam on there as well. The shoe fits true to size. It's got a heel to toe drop of 10 mil, and it costs, wait for it, 165 pounds, that's a lot of money, uh, or 160 dollars or 190 euros. That is quite a bit of a price increase on this year's A6 Gel Keanu. Right, that's a little bit about the features, but I wanted to spend most of this video just explaining to you what I thought of this shoe, having bought it with my own money. And I'm gonna start by just telling you what they say in their marketing material for this shoe. They're calling it a lighter, sleeker, and more energized shoe when compared to the previous model. Now, using the word lighter for this shoe, I personally find that quite misleading. Now, they say that in a US size nine, it's 10 grams less than the previous model. Uh, now, I can't question that because I don't have a US size nine to weigh. My size is UK size 11, which I think is US size 12. And I always put the shoe on the scales the moment I get it out of the box so that I can see what the weight is. Now for the ASICS Gel Keanu 28, and if you don't believe me, you can look back at my video of that shoe, it weighed 359 grams, which is 12 and three quarter ounces. This shoe, weighs more, not less, more. Now the two shoes weren't identical in weight, but this particular one that the, the weighed a few grams more came in at 367 grams. So that is eight grams more than the previous Keanu model. So how can you call it lighter? I, I do not know, I do not know. Now talking a little bit about comfort of the shoe, the, I, I was put off by the A6 Gel Keanu 28 slightly because it did give me on one of the shoes, it gave me a blister on the inside heel area. I'm not the only runner to get that situation. If you look at the comments of the previous video, you will see other runners got that. Um, somebody who's bought the 29 before me also mentioned to me that they also got the blister effect in the 29. Um, I wanted to get the shoe myself. I wanted to try it on and I wanted to see if it felt any different 
to the 28. And it feels very strange when I put my heel into here, particularly on the sides of the back of the foot area around the heel. It just feels like it's not going to be comfortable when I go out and run in this. And I am, having got a blistering problem on the previous version, I am believing that this would potentially give me a blister as well. Even if it didn't give me a blister, just putting my foot into it is not a comfortable feeling for me. And then there is the price point, £165 for this version of the shoe. And I just think that's too much. You expect to pay a little bit more for a stability shoe just because of the features that they put into it. But the previous model was £150-ish. And in a cost of living crisis that we're going on, on at the moment, I just think £165 for this. If I was paying £165, I want something a little bit special out of the shoe. I don't think this shoe's giving me it. And based on the fact that I don't feel comfortable in the heel area when I put this shoe on, I really don't think it's worth paying £165 for this particular model of the shoe. And if you look around, at the moment anyway, you can pick up the previous version, the 28, for about £100. So that's a big price gap between what they are selling the older version off for to what this new version is coming out at, at the moment. So to summarise, it weighs more, in this size anyway. I'm not getting the comfort that I'd expect from this shoe and the cost is just too much. So for those reasons, I'm going to be returning the A6 Gel Keanu 29 and I'll be getting my money back. Uh, and for complete transparency, I haven't even run in this shoe yet because if I did run in it, then the company that I bought it from, they wouldn't, they wouldn't refund me. So um, just the comfort that I'm not getting when I put my heel into the shoe, I, I'm not going to take that risk. I'm going to be sending it back. Does that mean I'll never buy a Keanu shoe again? No, I hope not. I, I, you know, up to now, I've generally enjoyed running in these shoes and I will buy them again and I will try them out. But this version for this price, it's going back. If you bought the Keanu 29 and you've got some thoughts on it, why not drop them in the comments below that, so that everyone else watching this video can have a look and see what you think, good or bad. It always helps when people are looking to buy a shoe. Just don't go by my opinion. Just take a rounded view of other reviews out there and particularly people that have bought the shoe and have dropped a comment below. Guys, I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, as always, please do hit the thumbs up button to give the video a like. If you're new around here, why not consider subscribing? But for now, guys, goodbye.